Hi, uh, this is a video of the Form Longcliffe One 2019. It's replacing the last video I did, which uh, I did on a windy day, so you couldn't hear what I was saying, and a lot of what I was saying was rubbish anyway. So hopefully this will be a, a bit of a more informative uh, little review. I've had the bike about a year now. I got an absolute bargain of a lifetime with it. It was bankrupt stock, I think. Uh, cash converters at Dundee on eBay had three of them, and I got it for 270 quid. Fantastic. Um, the bike retails at 825 quid, I do believe, and uh, we'll have a look around it. I bought the bike as a winter bike. Um, this is my posh machine for the summer, my titanium van Nicholas. I wanted something to save it to stop getting uh, filthy in the winter. Um, I originally had a Trek 1.1 which I sold for 190 quid so that to actually get me backside on this brand new machine cost me 80 quid which I'm absolutely delighted with. A uh, quick run through of the spec, this is a 56 model, um, so the seat tube centre of the bottom bracket to the top is 56 and the top virtual top tube is 56.5 with a 180 mil head tube so it's a really the relaxed geometry, nice slack angle on the hair tube and a nice uh, lay back on the seat tube as well. So it's an absolutely lovely comfortable ride, you can ride all day on this no problem at all. Um, carbon fork, integrated headset and the fork has got a full carbon steerer as well so on the, a bike of this price it's brilliant. Integrated cables, I've gone through the frame, no Judging by, judging by the look of these, I would say the inners and the outers go all the way through the bike and come out under the bottom bracket area there, um, which is going to be a lot easier if you're going to be changing cables because uh, you're not going to involve any little tubes or whatever and you'll not have no problem uh, feeding them f through. Uh, what I did do, I upgraded the wheel set. I've currently got a pair of Visions on at the minute which saved us about uh, 600 grams. These are the original wheels here that the bike comes with. Um, the front one's radially, radially laced and the back one is a cross pattern. I think they're both 32 holes. They're nice wide rims, they're 24 millimeter on the outside and I think they're 18 or 19 in the middle. Um, you can easily get a 28, perhaps a 32 one with those. What I would recommend doing is that there are decent enough wheel sets. I've been up Rosedale Chimney on them, and I've been up Rosedale Chimney on those. Um, did it feel any different? No, I just bloody heard both times. You can't really tell the difference. But these come in at about 2.2 uh, kilos. I think the front wheel is 900, the back wheel is about 1300 grams, compared with about uh, 1750 for those ones. Um, so what I would recommend doing really is just giving them a good thrashing. Use them if you want and uh, get rid of them. If you, you don't have to upgrade if you don't want to, you'll get a good bit of service out of these. Um, right, group set. Full Sora group set apart from the brakes. Um, our Shimano group sets now. We've got the, the cables under the bar tape. A trickle down effect from the more expensive group sets, which is... Excellent. It performs every bit as good as me 11 speed 105. Just got uh, a couple of more bigger gaps in between the gears. Uh, compact on the front, 5034. 1132 on the back, a long range, um, a long mech. You could probably get a 34, even a 36 on there with a bit twiddling on the B screw, I think. Um, mounts, you've got mudguard mounts, if you can just see on the inside of the fork there. Uh, rack mounts on the back mudguard mounts further down as well so this bike would be ideal for a little bit of uh, light touring as well uh, quality of the build is absolutely fabulous and frame geometry is really really comfortable and a nice looking bike as well I would say a little word about mudguards um, the eagle eyed amongst you will have noticed I've got uh, crude catcher guards on which don't use the mudguard eyelets that's the reason for that is just I prefer them to uh, standard guards because they don't make as much noise. Uh, the hardware, it hasn't, they haven't got any hardware so they don't wear out and rattle. Um, they're perfectly silent these ones. Um, what I would say about the mud guards is 
the biggest tyre you can get on if you're using standard guards like the SKS P35 would be a 25mm tyre. You just won't have the clearance under the brakes um, if you try and put any big, any bigger tyre on with those mud guards. Um, so yes, the bike does come with 28mm tyres, uh, Schwalbe Laganos, which I took off because I don't like them. Um, but you'll be struggling to get full guards on with a tyre that size. I would say 25mm is about your max. Um, other little faults I did mention in the first video as well, which I've rectified. Uh, the bar tape was very thin, not, not great on the bike. I've doubled that up now. I've got uh, double thickness bar tape on. There was no frame protection either on the head tube or on the... Uh, the chain steer and I've uh, rectified that as well just little, a few little upgrades um, change the saddle because this is my saddle of choice the charge spoon that's the original saddle the foam saddle um, couldn't really give you an opinion on that because I didn't give it a chance really I have charge spoons on all my bikes so I basically took that straight off and put a charge spoon on but I can't comment on how comfortable that is because my bum's never been on it. Right, I'd say I'm pretty much in a good position to give a, a decent opinion of this bike. Uh, since I got it, I've done 12,000 miles, three or 4,000 on this, and the rest on the uh, good summer bike. Um, I've ridden everything over the decades. I've had Claude Butler, Specialized, Giants, Trex, you name it. Um, my current posh bike is a Van Nicholas Titanium which I bought because I'm getting on a bit and my skeleton's a bit knackered um, with a view that that was going to be the most comfortable bike you could get a lovely Titanium bike and it is comfortable and I absolutely love it and I would never part with it but this form is the most comfortable bike I've ever sat on in my life it pains me to say it it cost, it cost me 10 times less than what my uh, Van Nicholas did but the geometry is just absolutely sorted it's brilliant. Um, the front head tube with the 1 1 1 and 1 8 bearing at the top and the 1 and a half at the bottom is rock solid and it's just it, it just fits like a glove when you sit on it. I'm absolutely over the moon with this bike. I would have paid full price for it quite happily. Um, I've seen them knocking around quite cheap on eBay, but even if you pay full price for it, you're getting an absolutely cracking bike for the money. Full Sora. Uh, every mount you can think of for mud guards and racks, lovely comfortable geometry, absolutely fabulous bike. I wouldn't hesitate in recommending it.